because we have a anniversary video we'd like to show you. Thank you. Smart. Blue AG now represents an alternative to private car ownership, which becomes a unnecessary cost. We started on December 12, 2017 with 80 cars and 32 stations. We hope to reach 150 stations with 315 cars by end of this year in December. This is a very important milestone for us because this is an eventual step for us to reach 500 stations and 1,000 electric cars by 2020. To have 500 stations by 2020, that will allow Singapore customers and residents to um, be within minutes from our station and to be within minutes from where they need the car to be. This also translates to the fact that uh, we gave them a lot of flexibility and convenience so they, there's no more burden of owning a car just for the sake of owning a car. And they will be able to do short-term rentals with no burden and no stress. Every day, live monitoring of equipment is carried out in the command centre. And whenever there is any anomaly sighted, technicians will be deployed immediately to site to resolve it. So they will do thorough inspections, checks and cleaning on all the equipments and vehicles to ensure that it is safe, it is clean, and they are roadworthy. During the launch of service, it is difficult for us to employ people that actually know how to operate the command center or even know how to repair a vehicle. So initially, there is a lot of training conducted by our HQ to make sure that they know how to operate the service correctly. They can actually repair the equipment safely this is to make sure that uh, we are able to bring across the best service to our customers. Blue SG provides a 24 by 7 customer service and we are one call away or a blue button away from inside the blue car. Our customer service system is customized to provide short, simplified and personalized service to serve our customers. Our customer relations agent are responsive and reactive and this definitely gives them a peace of mind when they have to call us because they know that most of their calls are resolved within one call itself. I use Blue SG at least twice a day to fetch my son from school or to school. It's quite easy to find a Blue SG station near my destination and the system is very easy to use. I use Blue SG quite often and uh, I'm a machine myself. Normally, I will bring my equipment around. So, I need the Blue SG to transport me to places for my lessons and my performances. Bonore, our model group, already has 1,700 employees in Singapore. Moving forward, we have significant ambitions for Blue SG. In addition to growing our electric car sharing service, we will have a team of engineers developing locally solutions for transportation, smart cities, based on the strong expertise we have acquired in these domains. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, just a little bit about how we operate here in Singapore. And as you heard um, Frank saying in the video, that Blue SG, big plans for the future here in Singapore, and they will elaborate more in a bit. In the meantime though, to deliver the welcome address today, let's give it up for Managing Director of Blue Solutions, Ms. Marie Bollere. So dear Senior Parliamentary Secretary, Mr. Bai Yang Keng, and dear Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Transport, Mr. Ron Yang Seng. Thank you everyone for coming here for the first anniversary of Blue SG, the car sharing system we launched one year before. So, remember one year before, in December, we launched uh, the car sharing service with only 80 blue cars, so electric cars, 
and 32 stations. A few months after, the service contained 9,000 members who used the service and did 20,000 20, one tons. Last October, we built our 100 station in Pinnacle. So now for the first year of Blue Edgy, we got almost 300 cars on 135 stations. Since the beginning, we saw 20,000 membership and use of the 100,000 members. So it was a very good year for Blue Edgy. We are really happy with these figures. We don't want only BlueSG to be a car sharing system, but also an everyday life for Singaporeans. So maybe you saw in the street, blue cars or costumes for National Day, for Chinese New Year. So we really don't really want to, to be part of the Singapore landscape. For Singapore, the Blue SG service, and I want to thank you, uh, the Land Transport Authority and the Economic Development Board for this project, to participate to the Car Light initiative of the government. For, for Blue SG, uh, it was a creation of new jobs in EVs area, in uh, energy area, and uh, even for building station and charging points. So, for the environment, it's only electric cars, so less air pollution, less smell, less noise, and reducing the number of IC cars. It's a complementary uh, solution of mobility with the taxi, with the micro mobility, with the shared bicycle, and for sure with the public transport. As you know, Blue Edge member can pair their subscription with the EasyLink card. So just a reminder that it's a one-way ride, so you can take the car and pick up of a one way you want. So in figures, you can see that, as I said before, we reached 20,000 members and uh, they drove for 2 million kilometers. So in CO2 saved, it's about 500 tons. At first, we were only 27 employees, and now we multiply by two the number of employees, and thank you for the team because they did a great job. And the next year we will be about 100 people, so it's really new job for Singaporeans, and uh, it's, uh, it's very good for the economy. About the blue car on the charging stations, charging stations, we were about 100 charging stations. Now we are 300, uh, 500, sorry, and 300 blue cars. I don't speak about uh, the satisfied because uh, from Vite, the managing director, will uh, we do it uh, after. So you can see the map. So in green it's the open stations, and in blue it's the next 35 stations. So if you uh, want to ask uh, especially a uh, local localization of station, just uh, ask Kronk or Jenny uh, for this. So what next in Singapore? So for Blue SG it's to accelerate the development of uh, new station and especially in Sentosa and uh, in uh, malls, like in Capital Land Malls, and the uh, OTH area. The new thing for next year, we will open the EV uh, private, like the private vehicles, or uh, char infrastructure charging, so owners of EV can charge and plug their EVs on our blue energy charging points. We will also focus on corporate, on the companies. So we will launch uh, new membership offers just for corporate, uh, uh, local corporate. So Blue Edge, as I said, is not only a car sharing service. 
It's uh, also an expertise in electromobility, in energy, in transportation. So we will launch our innovative platform to do local projects with institutes, with partners. So we are already open about it. And to contribute to Singapore analyze of data for mobility and to uh, contribute to the uh, initiative of CarLight. So thank you very much and uh, I hope uh, you are satisfied uh, for customers of the service and uh, for the Bolluri Group it's uh, really a uh, honor to, to be here in this country and um, as I say it's not only the car sharing service but or the HQ for Asia Pacific for mobility and energy area. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marie. And now we would like to invite the managing director of Blue SG, Mr. Frank Vite to say a few words. It's okay. We would like that. So, uh, as uh, Marie Bonnoway was just uh, saying, uh, the very first thing, of course, we, we want to continue growing uh, the, the network uh, of stations. So, uh, definitely we continue to work a lot and uh, very positively with uh, the uh, main agencies such as HDB, URA, and JTC. But in addition to that, we are going and, and we are very happy that we will be uh, opening. Uh, we have uh, negotiated three new types uh, of partnerships. So the very first one is Capital Land. Uh, and we are very happy to, to uh, partner with Capital Land, which is uh, one of the biggest commercial property developers in Singapore, as you know. Uh, and that's going to be for five shopping malls. The very first one being Plaza Singapore, uh, and it's actually opening today. So you can uh, definitely drive there. I remind to everyone in case you, you forgot that uh, it's the Christmas season, and if you want to go there and shop for Christmas, that's the right time to go. Now that we have a station, uh, and uh, we are very happy to partner with Capital Land because this is in, uh, in line with their sustainable uh, mobility uh, uh, strategy, uh, and uh, which they are, we, we understand they are, they are supporting uh, quite actively. And that's going to provide greater convenience for, uh, for the users uh, to go there and, and uh, shop at uh, their shopping malls. Uh, the second one is the uh, uh, OTH, uh, Art and Penis Hub. Uh, and this is significant because this is the, uh, the first ever integrated community and lifestyle hub uh, in Singapore, which is operated by People's Association. Uh, and there again, uh, the Blue AG users uh, we'll be able to access a number of services uh, and, uh, and programs and facilities uh, over there, conveniently accessing, accessing with uh, our blue cards. And last but not, but not least, uh, we are also very, very happy that uh, we found an agreement with uh, SDC, uh, Sentosa uh, Development Corporation, uh, where we are going to be in stations over there that's going to provide another convenient uh, option to access Sentosa. And what is great is that the, uh, our users will not pay any island fee. The only thing that we will have to pay is the rental, but they can access there uh, very easily 
without the ion sphere. So the um, uh, we talked a, a, a lot about it. As you know, we say that before uh, we committed to open our charging infrastructure to third-party uh, EV, uh, and this is in line uh, with our strategy of fostering the development of EV that we are really welcoming in Singapore. As you know, there are very few EVs today, uh, but uh, Singapore being at the forefront of uh, the technology. Uh, for sure it's going to catch up uh, and uh, we are happy to help uh, providing the infrastructure so that uh, uh, EV can go and uh, charge easily at multiple locations. So, well, you all know what's uh, happening when your phone is running out of battery. Uh, well, you are frustrated. Uh, you cannot make any call and uh, you need to find another way to, uh, to uh, contact uh, your friends uh, want to call. But when uh, this is happening with your car, that's not the same story. Uh, it's actually uh, very frustrating. Uh, the second thing is that then you are stuck. You, you cannot drive any further, you cannot move, but it's also expensive. But in that case, you need to call the torch truck. That's not, uh, that's not cheap. Uh, and, finally, and finally, of course, you need to find another way to travel. So we are coming. Uh, and uh, thanks to the courtesy of uh, Renault, uh, this is uh, Renault Zoe, and now you can indeed charge our, at our charging kiosk. It does working perfectly, tested, validated. Uh, you, can, uh, you can do it easily. Uh, so now you can leave your house uh, anytime without, even if your car is not fully charged, you know that you can find a charging point uh, at your destination or somewhere else. Uh, you can charge also uh, easily when you are at home uh, overnight uh, and you can extend your journey and drive further and as far as you can. So how does it work? Well, <coughs> the process is relatively similar to, to using the car sharing service. You subscribe, well, well first you need to be a DV owner. If you're not a DV owner, that's uh, not so useful, but uh, you subscribe to the service. Uh, after you reserve, you plug, uh, and after you unplug and then you go, that's extremely easy to use. We don't want it to make it, we don't, we don't want it to, uh, to make it uh, complicated, too complex, sorry. Uh, what is the compatibility? Well, in Singapore, there's only one standard that makes it very easy. Uh, that's the type two. This is the, <coughs> this is the standard which has been approved by uh, the uh, Energy Market Authority. And now all the cars which are imported in Singapore are type 2. So pretty much all the EV cars imported in Singapore are compatible with our charging infrastructure. Which we have. So we can see various models of, uh, of uh, electric cars. This is not exhaustive, uh, but that's uh, uh, pretty much every car can be, uh, can, can be uh, using our service. So you go on our website, you subscribe, there will be I cannot disclose it yet, but uh, that's going to come soon. Uh, but there will be uh, one fee per year, and after you pay per packages of minutes uh, when you charge there. Uh, when you will still be, uh, you still have to pay for the parking fees, which is not the case with Blue HG. When you use Blue HG, there is no parking fees, there is uh, no maintenance, etc. Of course, that remains the responsibility of, of the user, or otherwise, you will pay for the charging service. Uh, per uh, packages of minutes. How do you find a charging point? It's as easy as it is to use uh, the Blue AG service. You have your phone, you download the app, it's actually the same application uh, than for the Blue AG service. You select the charging points and you are going to see on your phone where are the charging plugs uh, available nearby. And once you go and you click on the one station, and then you say you, are, you reserve a public plug, uh, and when you reserve this public plug, this parking lot is reserved exclusively for exclusively for you. Nobody else uh, can take it, and you can take the time to reach there. And then after you, you, you will stay and charge your uh, your vehicle. When? Because we have been talking for a while about it, so it's actually coming soon, very soon. That's going to be within the first quarter of 2019. So 
So I remind you that the first quarter of 2019 starts on the 1st of January and ends on the 31st of March, and there will be some way in between. Don't ask me exactly when, I cannot tell you yet, but that's going to come very soon. Now, when your uh, EV is running low, basically, well, you are not stressed anymore, uh, you are relaxed, you can continue uh, going, no tow truck, uh, and you can uh, drive as, uh, as much as you want. And uh, the last thing that we are going to bring very soon also uh, in uh, 2019, that's going to be most probably the first half, uh, is the corporate offer, as uh, Larry Borrowe was just mentioning. Uh, so the idea is to offer the, the flexibility to the employees uh, to drive any time uh, with Blue AG and you know the, 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 the network is growing very fast. The benefit for the company is that it's going to, uh, to generate uh, greater savings on, on commuting options uh, compared to, to, to other vehicles. Uh, of course, they can do advanced booking as of today to 135 stations. At the end of the year, 150 stations moving forward 500 stations, 500 locations, I know why, so that's going to be pretty much everywhere. Uh, and for the company, uh, there is no need to go take care of the uh, parking cost, uh, and the parking, uh, parking claim, the uh, petrol claim, uh, the maintenance of the vehicle, the insurance, everything is bundled in, uh, and that's going to be much easier. Uh, what the company can do is that after they can easily allocate the expense to a particular department, to a particular employee, and track the expenses uh, on the various projects of per employee. Likewise, uh, the company needs to subscribe, and the manager, so there will be one manager who will be appointed, the manager is going to appoint a few, uh, well, the, the number of employees that uh, he or she wants to use the service. Uh, so, uh, an email is going to be automatically generated by the manager to the employees. You are invited to join the service. Uh, the employee is going to subscribe, I mean, to subscribe to, to key the, the details. And this employee will need to be validated first by us. We want to check that this employee is holding a valid driving license, which is uh, the least that we can do. And by the company manager, say, okay, this person is. Uh, authorized to do the Blue AG service so that you, you, you track these messages. So there will be uh, corporate plans. Corporate plans will be by a package of hours, so you can uh, subscribe, for example, to 10 hours a month or to 50 hours or to 100 hours, depending on the number of employees that you have. Uh, and they will uh, use the service. The, the rest will be automatically adjusted when you, to make sure that you are enjoying uh, the best rates. So if you use more than uh, 10 hours uh, at some point, if it's more interesting, you will, you will go to the uh, 50 hours uh, package. Uh, and we will make it first free for the, for the companies. And that's how you, you, uh, you invite your employees. Uh, on the website. So this is it for me. Thank you. And now we would like to invite the Commercial and Network Director of Blue SG, Ms. Jenny Lim, to present to us. Hello. Welcome everyone, you know, um, again I'm tasked with the pleasant job of presenting good results. So this is where we share our, the results and the findings of our first um, customer satisfaction survey. This survey was conducted in the first two weeks of November. So basically we sent the survey out to a total of 3,193 um, customers. And we received 39% um, of them uh, responded and more than 1,000, you see we total received 1,249. Almost 1,000 of them responded within 24 hours of the survey uh, uh, start date.
So typically, I'm going to share some of the key highlights. You know, I'm not going to walk you through the entire survey, but generally, we want to know why Singaporeans use Blue SG service. And you realize that um, there's a good percentage of them that use it to commute with their family, and a good percentage of them to, drop, to use it to basically as an affordable alternative to owning a car. And there is also a percentage of them that use it to commute to work amidst other transport options. So you don't really have a big drastic percentage at whichever sector. And how long does it take usually for them to walk to a Blue SG station? So this is where we need to continue to work better because so far we have only two-thirds of our customers that could walk less than 10 minutes to a station. The rest of the customers still have to walk fairly far to a nearby Blue SG station. So this is where we continue to work to see how we can bring the stations nearer to where customers want to go or want to start renting a car. And amidst our survey questions, we ask people, do you want to see more promotions, more cars, more stations, more contests, and more whatsoever? The one that came out strikingly was the fact that they all wanted more stations to be built. Over and above, more promotions. Can you believe it? They are not interested in so many promo codes. They want more stations. So generally, we also try to know whether if our app is friendly. You know, now every company, every service use a self-service app in that sense. So we are pleased to say that only 1.3% of our customers who have responded find that our apps are really bad. So this is something that is relieving to know. Though it doesn't mean that we don't continue to improve the service and to improve our app quality. So we also want to know how often does the customer have difficulty renting a blue car or when they rent a blue car, they can't find a parking spot. So generally, again, here we have two-thirds of the customer who never have a, who are never unable to, or sometimes only that couldn't find a car or couldn't find a parking. But still, there is almost 30% of them who still struggle to find a car and struggle to find a parking. So this relates back to the earlier result of the fact that most of them are asking for more stations because it goes hand in hand. So when we have eventually, when we are reaching the, um, the 500 stations, we anticipate this figure is going to improve. And uh, when we did a poll on our CRC, which is our customer relations center, we are pleased to say that only 1.7% of them find it totally unacceptable. So generally, they like to call us, though I always tell my CRC, let's not make Blue SG a chat line. And, you know, this is something very important to us because I'm sure most of the Singaporeans don't have a good familiarity with an electric car. I recall last year when we first launched the service, we have a lot of residents asking us very strange questions about reaction of a blue car and charging point. So we are pleased to say that most of our customers rated very well response on the acceptance and the usage and the user friendliness of our blue car. And we have 95.5% of our customers who would gladly recommend Blue SG to their friends and family. So this again is something really is to know. So we also want to know, um, amidst all the good things that we know about the service, what is the best thing that strikes out and what are the areas we need to continue to improve and to work on? So one thing that, you know, what is important for us in this question, uh, the takeaway is that we are still not very convenient in the sense because we only have 43.9% vote in terms of our convenience of the stations. So again, this goes to show the importance of having more stations. And lastly, uh, we are very curious. We want to know among our, our customers, do they own a car? Do they don't own a car or you know whatsoever? So we asked the question whether if the household owns a car, 90.7% of them feedback that they have a car in their household. And out of this 90.7%, 25.5% indicate that 
they are willing to either delay the purchase or resell their car. I know this is not a very striking result, but then again, come to think of it, we are, we are only deployed for one year. We have 135 stations today. By end of the year, we have 150, and by 2020, 500. I'm sure the percentage will increase. And thank you. Thank you so much, Jenny. Stellar results indeed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today as well, like I said, you know, to celebrate the one year anniversary and we have uh, uh, a so-called launch mechanic to officiate today's celebration. So right now, I would like to invite our VIPs and our guests of honor to adjourn to the tent right outside. It's still drizzling a little bit, but there are staff and models here with umbrellas for you guys. And after our VIPs and guests of honor, have made their way into the tent. We would also like to invite the rest of our guests to adjourn outside as well. Thanks so much. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you guys can hear me loud and clear. So um, many of you are wondering why we have these glass bottles or glass jars of colored sand on the table. What we're going to be requesting of our VIPs and our guests of honor today is that each of them um, is taking a couple of jars and then they're going to fill up the logo with the colored sand so as to complete today's celebration, today's one year anniversary celebrations of Blue SG. Okay, so VIPs and the guests of honor, we would like for you guys to begin on a count of one, two, three. And there you have it. They're filling up the Blue SG logo. You have another jar if you would like. I believe uh, it's full, yeah? Okay, I'll leave it to your discretion. Thank you very much. And then there is um, the acrylics to cover the, the, the logo as well. Okay. And now we'll like, uh, if you guys, do you guys want to take more photos? Yeah? Once again, we complete the celebrations today, our one year anniversary of Blue SG. And actually, we'd we'll like to invite you guys to remain. Yes, we'd like to, you guys to remain here because we would also now like to bring out our cake. What's a birthday without a cake, ladies and gentlemen? And it's an edible cake, too. So if you're into cake, we'll cut the pieces out very, very soon. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking the cake. Oh. Okay. Let's... And we have two knives here today. One will pass to Marie and the other will be passed to Mr. Bay. Marie and Mr. Bay will do us the honors. On a count of three, we will cut the birthday cake. One, two, three. Happy first birthday, Blue SG. Thank you so much. And 
It is a real cake. We will eat it later. It's our dessert. And now we'd like to present a token of appreciation to Mr. Bay for being our guest of honor today. I believe we have a plaque that we will pass to Marie, and Marie will do us the honors of presenting it to Mr. Bay. And now let's take a photo, all of us, maybe a group photo first, with the plot and the cake, yeah. Okay, ready? And now, okay, we will also like to invite our LTA and EDB guests to come up on stage to take a group photo with Mr. Bay, Jenny, Marie, and Frank. Big smiles for the cameras. Okay, and what's a birthday celebration without champagne? The French go up. Okay, now we'd like to bring out the flutes of champagne. We're going to pass them to you. And of course, we're going to propose the toast to Blue SG. Champagne for everybody. We'll also like to give the flutes of champagne to our guests here. <laughs> Giving away champagne to our guests right now, we'd like to propose a toast to Blue SG. Are you ready? Cheers. 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 Once again, happy one year anniversary, Blue SG, to many, many more successful years. Cheers. Thank you very much to our guests from LTA and EDB, and of course to our guest of honor, Mr. Bay Yam King, and thank you to all our other guests who made it for our one year anniversary today. We have some refreshments for you, some food, some drinks. Please stick around and uh, feel free to mingle on. And yes, we will cut the cake. And ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to remind everybody as well that we have welcome gifts for you. Please do remember to collect them on your way out. They were at the registration table. Thank you.